Okay, so are you able to see how curved that is right in there? From yeah, where you are? I would say so. Let's see here. So, um, what name should we call you today? What? What name should we call you? You can pick anything. Oh, Noah, N-U-L-L-A. Noah, okay. So the interesting thing about Noah's nail, if you can see this, is that it curves to like almost 180 degrees in that way. And so this is a really painful one to trim. So we're gonna start with this one because this is the one that gives you the most trouble. Um, and so we'll just do it in very small, very small bites. And then it usually leaves a pretty big void down there when we're done. Okay, so I'm curving around following the nail, and then I have to actually curve back in that way to pull this whole big, nice chunk out. Look at that. Oof. That's a big piece. And then you can see down in there, you can see that there's that uh, just a big empty space right in there where that nail was digging in. So probably one of the more painful ingrown toenails that we manage. And you've chosen not to have it removed because? Um, modesty, I guess. Okay. Meaning you don't think you'd like how it looks? Correct. Okay. I've already got a weird one on the other foot. Okay. Okay, now how does that feel when I press that? No pain at all. No pain, okay. So the last thing is, I'm just gonna go down and make sure that there's no crud down in there. So there is another little piece of nail I've got to grab, though. So. Should I try and get another angle on it? Um, no, there just isn't a better angle I think you're going to be able to get, unless you're on top of my head. <laughs> There's just a little spike there. There we go. That was digging in there. All right, so now that'll give you a few months of no pain. So, um, and then you can see these are better, not a whole lot, but. So again, we follow the shape of the nail. This one is kind of like a horseshoe shape. Can you see from where you are? I wonder if I go over to the side. Try. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So again, even though this is like a smushed horseshoe shape, we just keep following around the shape of the nail and that way we don't get the skin underneath. And Nola, is it? <laughs> Just let me know if anything I'm doing is hurting. Like if where I'm holding your toe for the video is uncomfortable. And on nails like these, I'll tell you, no matter how gentle you are, sometimes it just hurts. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot to do, but go quickly. It's kind of like
like getting a shot, I think. Mm -hmm. You know you have to do it, so let's just do it quickly. So there's no nail here. I forget what happened with this one. It was uh, growing up from the end. I don't know why. Oh, the, the bone was growing up? Yeah. Okay. stories. You doing anything fun? Yeah, I was in Wisconsin for the 4th of July mm -hmm. parade. Oh, you were in the parade? No. Oh. You were at the parade? At the parade. My family lake place. Okay. It's about 25 miles south of Hurley and Ironwood. Michigan and Wisconsin are together there. My sister-in-law's family has had that property for many, many years on the water. So I stayed a week and I was lazy and loving it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's just the best. Not doing a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. Is it one of those quiet lakes or do they have, do they allow the Loud motor boats on motor there. Motor boats. And yeah. Jet skis. And yeah, fishermen. It's lovely. Quiet, usually. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and thin all these out. Okay, sorry, go ahead. You're saying. Yeah. Oh, I prayed you screw on the block so it lasted longer. <laughs> <laughs> and now they've got more. So, say, is the town one block long? About, yeah, it's about the size of Osseo. <laughs> okay. But now they have all kinds of, now I have to be quiet? No, all, I'm just waiting. All, all kinds of ambulances and fire trucks and horses and <laughs> crazy fun stuff that, the, you know, throwing candy out to the kids. And it was fun. <laughs> well, that's fine.
I just noticed lately how my four toes on the right foot stand up kind of away from the big toe. Yeah, those are called hammer toes when they go up like that. But when you stand, you know, they'll come yeah. down some. But yeah, they do they do sit up a little bit. And then we'll get the callus on the bottom. What's that from? Um right there it's because this bone is kind of this whole arch is kind of collapsed a little bit so it's got a little protrusion down on the bottom and that is um, putting pressure on the skin from inside against the ground or your shoe on the outside okay I'm going to tip you back a little bit more Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. Does this hurt to walk on? Yes. More than it used to. Well, you know, the it, as things collapse a little bit more in your arch, um, it'll become a little more prominent and a little more prominent. And I'll be here more times <laughs> than usual. Well, yeah, you know, and there. Are, Sometimes people do have to come a little more frequently because of the callus. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look and maybe shorten the time between visits. Okay. Um, I only live a mile from here. Hmm? I only live a mile from here. Oh, good. Okay. And you the, might get sick of me. <laughs> I would not get sick of you. Not her again. I might not remember that we called you Noah. I'll tell you why. Can I tell you why? Absolutely. It's an interesting name. My parents were musicians. Father played the violin and mother the piano. And my dad's other occupation during the day was a truck that he drove between Duluth and Superior. Mm -hmm. But anyway, when my grandma was there to take care of me when I was just little, and across the front door they had one of those things that spread, you know, like a pouch. Like That's, a little gate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of an open thing. Well, they would give me a hug and a kiss and leave for, to play music at a nightclub or a wedding party or whatever. And I'd stand there and say, not a love. I wanted another love. Aww. So they'd have to come back and give me another hug. Oh, so that dad so called cute. me not a love my whole life. Oh. And then my nephews, his grandkids and his son, they just called me Nella. My brother was down to no. <laughs> That's a great story. Um, right. I'm just going to put little band-aids on these th three little toes. Um, okay. And if they give you any trouble, you let me know. But you can just take them off tomorrow. Okay. I'm driving to Superior tomorrow for a class reunion. Really? I'm, I'm afraid. Am I allowed to ask what year? If I can figure that high. <laughs> 64th. It's the youngest of my class. I can add that. Okay. <laughs> we had a countdown a couple of years ago. I was still standing when they said, remain standing if your birthday, whatever. And that's before they had, you know, out here. Birthdays after September something, you have to start the next year. Mm -hmm. How big was your class? And, well, and the, my high school class was 275, I think. Now there's only about 50 left that come to the reunions. Hey, after 64 years, 50 people still yeah. show up and yeah. come to Minnesota from wherever? Yeah. Well, that would be Wisconsin, right? Or Wisconsin? Oh, yeah. Superiors, Wisconsin, yeah. Never been there. I used to have to MC the thing and they didn't call me this year, so I'm glad I could relax a little more. And just enjoy. <laughs> yeah, sometimes saying no is liberating, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like every time I interrupt Melanie and ask her to come in and, <laughs> and video something. She's never said no, but I think she'd want to a couple times. I think she's wanted to a couple times. <laughs> No, the room is a good change of scenery sometimes. 
All right, so everything here looks, looks good. If any of these three toes give you any trouble, you give me a call. But I think just leaving these Band-Aids on for a day and they'll be fine. And then um, I'm going to go look at my computer and see how frequently you've been coming and maybe we'll shorten it down because of that.